Hello, my name is Pablo Suarez from the Red Cross Red Crescent Climate Center. It's delightful to be at the Understanding Risks Forum in Mexico with my dear friend and colleague, Cara Siahan. She is from the International Federation of Red Cross and Red Crescent Societies, and I must say there are some very exciting news that she can share. Cara, this is about disruption and communication. Can you tell us what's going on with the new way of linking money with action? We have been working on this concept called forecast-based financing for a few years now. It's about basically getting money where it's needed before a predicted event or before a disaster. So we have been testing on several pilot projects uh, the, the last few years and we have some good results also coming up. Uh, but really, since 2007, we have been looking into um, using climate science and, and forecast to make decisions. What is your team doing to link science with humanitarian action through finance? At the moment is that we are working with a diverse group of partners. We have research initiatives, we have partners like the Red Cross Red Crescent Climate Center, working on making sure that we are using the right science. So we have this uh, trigger mechanism on making sure that what kind of early action is worth taking in the time that is uh, available for us in the humanitarian system. What is unique about the IFRC as a humanitarian entity in helping both understand risk and do something about it. We are working with national societies at the different level. We have partners at the national level, up to the branch level, up to community volunteers, who actually are then what people sometimes often call the last mile, we call, well, like to call them the first mile, are actually there um, trying to understand the risk uh, around them. So this is what is distinct about, about us, that we are, we are everywhere. And again, making, mixing the, the science that is being uh, generated and, and supported by our partners, we also need to understand the need of our communities. And we can only know if we are really working with them and together with them.